Hey guys, what's up? My name's Kayla from Planning with Kay, and welcome to another video. Before I get into this December bullet journal plan with me video, I really quickly wanted to announce that my annual Black Friday sticker sale has officially begun today. This is my biggest sale of the year by far, and my entire sticker shop is half off. That's right, 50% off now through Sunday, including all physical and digital sticker listings. To celebrate this sale, I also have more than 20 new sticker listings available, including four new themed collections, including the green Neon City collection and the Desert Cactus collection, a ton of calendar basics for the new year, and new basic headers, including a sheet of reading essentials for all my bookworms out there. And like I said, everything is 50% off, so be sure to check out the link to my shop in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into my December bullet journal setup. So as usual with my monthly setups, I'm starting December off with a decorative cover spread, just as a fun way to introduce the new month in my journal. This is also going to be my last month in this journal since I'll be starting a brand new one in January for the new year, so I'm really excited to finish this year off strong with this setup. You guys know I love using a new theme every month in my journal as a way to keep my planning system really fresh and exciting, and I use my own handmade, hand-drawn, themed sticker collections to help me with my setups. For my December theme, I wanted to steer away from anything too Christmassy, just because I've done very classic Christmas-themed setups for the last couple years and I wanted to switch things up. So instead, I thought back on this past year and tried to think about the things that really defined it for me. And for me, 2021 really was the year of books. At the start of this year, I quickly developed a pretty intense love of reading and audiobooks, and I went from someone who never really read, never listened to audiobooks, to someone who's gone through more than 30 books so far this year, which for me is definitely a big deal. If you ask any of the people closest to me, they'll attest to the fact that I'm constantly trying to tell them about the book I just finished or the new book I just started. And books have just been a really consistent source of joy for me throughout this really difficult year. So I thought it was fitting to commemorate the end of 2021 by celebrating my newfound passion for books with a book and library inspired theme. So to set up these spreads, I'm going to be using my Luna's Library sticker collection, named of course after my little black cat Luna, including the three sheet monthly kit, the Bountiful Books decorative sheet, and the matching functional add-on sheet, all of which are available in my shop and of course 50% off through this weekend. For easy finding, I'll have all of the stickers I'm using and all of the rest of the supplies that I'm using today linked down in the description for you all as usual. Okay, so now that I've explained my theme for this month, let's dive into this cover spread. So for this December cover spread, I decided to create a cozy little reading nook using just some Crayola Super Tip markers along with a black pen and of course my stickers. On the left, I drew in a bookshelf that I'm gonna fill up with some of these stickers, including some books, a globe, an hourglass, and a mug full of art supplies. And to the right of that, I drew in a big comfy chair with a little side table and a big floor lamp. I'm also gonna be using a few bits of scrapbook paper throughout this setup because I happen to have a few sheets that went really well with this theme. So I'm just ripping off a corner from this library sign out card scrapbook paper and pasting it into the corner of this spread for a little bit more of a mixed media feel. Now it's time to bust out some of my favorite alphabet stamps to create my December header, but apparently my brain was in denial that it was almost December, so of course I started stamping in November on accident, and here's some audio from when I realized my mistake. Oh wait, not November. <laughs> this is for December. Okay, I'm glad I caught that. Luckily, I was setting this up during a Patreon live stream, and my patrons caught the mistake right away and alerted me before I made too much of a mess. So to fix that little mess up, I just cut out a little bit of paper from the back of my journal and pasted it over the mistake with my handy glue adhesive roller. And I then just stamped out the correct December 2021 header right over top like it never happened. 
I'm also filling in the remaining empty space on this spread with a little quote using both those stamps along with my favorite Tombow Fudenosuke hard tip brush pen. And the quote reads, to start a new chapter, you must close the one before and turn the page, which I thought was just so fitting, so perfect for the last month of the year and the last monthly setup in this journal. With my quote done, I just finished the spread off by sticking in a little steaming cup of coffee sticker on the little side table, and that was it for my December cover spread. So next up, I'm gonna set up my main December calendar spread. I'm starting this spread off by sticking in this massive bookshelf sticker from the Luna's Library monthly kit. And I just gotta say that I had so much fun designing this sticker in particular, especially because it features my cat Luna hanging out on the ladder down there. To me, she looks almost like a serious librarian here, like she's overseeing this imaginary library, making sure nobody's being too loud. And this little scene is why this collection earned the name Luna's Library in the first place. For my calendar here, each day gets a box that's five spaces wide by six spaces tall. And I'm labeling my days of the week using some small circular weekly headers also from the monthly kit. I'm then going to use two different brown markers to draw in some alternating brown lines at the top of each box on my calendar just as a base for my dates, after which I'm going to use my alphabet stamps again to stamp in the dates 1 through 31. I did make a couple of mistakes while putting in these dates, but it was no big deal. I just did the same thing as before, cut out some paper bits from the back of my journal, pasted them over the dates I got wrong, and I was then able to easily redo the dates right over top. With my calendar all done, I'm now gonna create a small Dutch door header at the top of this spread just by cutting off about an inch from the top of that right page. This just means that anything at the top of this spread is gonna be visible when I turn the page, and you'll see how that's gonna look when I start working on the next spread. I'm filling in the extra space to the right with this washi strip sticker from my July Patreon exclusive sticker sheet. If you wanna receive my newest sticker collections before they become available in my shop, and get access to the exclusive Patreon sticker sheets, printable spreads, live streams, coupon codes, and more, feel free to check out patreon.com slash planning with K, which of course is gonna be linked in the description below. Now all that's left to finish this spread off is my header at the top in that Dutch door section that I created. I originally wanted this header to say December 2021 monthly overview, but I ended up not really liking the monthly overview part. I don't know why, just something about it wasn't vibing with me. So after I stamped in the December 2021 header on the left and stuck in a little sleeping cat sticker next to that, I decided to just cover up the right side of the header with another one of my scrapbook paper sheets. This one looks like a dictionary page, which I thought went really well with this whole theme. And after sticking that in, I loved how this looked. I was super happy with this spread and I was able to turn the page and start working on the next. So this spread here inside of this little Dutch door is basically an extension of my monthly overview. And it's going to include four different sections in four different columns. My monthly bill schedule, a spot for notes for the month, a monthly task list, and finally a gratitude log for the month. I use these adorable little open book journal stickers from the Bountiful Books decorative sheet as the headers for three of my columns here. And I also stuck in a number strip from the functional add-on sheet for my bill schedule on the left. Using my brush pen, I'm writing in my headers over those journal stickers for my notes, tasks, and gratitude sections and I'm gonna create a simple header for my bill schedule with my alphabet stamps. I get asked a lot if you're able to write on top of my stickers, and if so, what kind of supplies you can use on top of them. And the answer is pretty much anything that you can use in your journal, you can use on top of these stickers. All of the stickers are made from normal matte sticker paper, so it's not glossy at all. Nothing smears on top of it, so you can just use your pens, stamps, markers, paint, whiteout, gel pens, basically anything that you'd normally use in your journal. With all of my headers in, I'm gonna bust out some more of that scrapbook paper from the cover spread and rip off another corner piece to paste the into the bottom right of this spread. 
finally, to finish this off, I'm just dotting in some bullet points for my task list and gratitude log with a brown marker, drawing in a little dividing line between each week on my bill schedule to make it easier to read. And that's it for my December monthly overview. The next functional spread in my December setup is going to be my daily review. This month, my daily review is going to include three different things. Firstly, I'm gonna get one line for each day of the month as a spot to jot down a brief summary of what happened that day. This is something I've been doing for years in my bullet journals, and I really love being able to look back on these daily review spreads to get an idea of how I was spending my time that month. Secondly, I'm gonna include a color-coded mood tracker, and I decided to make my mood tracker look like a big stack of books this month to fit my theme. So I'll just color in the book next to each day with whatever color corresponds to my mood that day. Mood tracking has been extra useful for me recently since I actually switched birth control methods a few months ago. I'm sure many of you have experiences with birth control side effects, especially when switching or stopping, and I've definitely been experiencing some interesting mood-related side effects, so I really like having a mood tracker for the month so that I can keep an eye on how my mood is going up or down and see how that correlates to my cycle. The third and final component of this spread is going to be a photo wall, or in this case, it's going to be a photo bookshelf that you can see on the right, which is just going to be a spot for me to paste in five or six photos at the end of the month, highlighting some key memories. I've been doing a lot more photo memory keeping in my journals this year, and I've really been loving it. So I'm excited to scroll through my photos at the end of December to fill in this little photo shelf here. And those three components are all done, so that's it for my daily review, and on to the next spread in my December setup. Okay, so going into this setup with a book theme, I knew that I wanted to do at least one book-related spread, and I thought that given that this is my December setup, it would be the perfect opportunity to do a spread showcasing my favorite books of 2021. So that's exactly what I decided to do, a spread titled Best Books of the Year for 2021, and this is by far my favorite spread in this setup. I started off with the header at the top, and I absolutely love how this header turned out with the two wooden planks on either side and the big open book right in the middle, and all three of those stickers are from the Luna's Library monthly kit. I'm then going to fill in this entire spread with a giant bookshelf. And this is where I'm gonna place my favorite books of the year. I decided to showcase all these books by printing their covers out and sticking them into my bookshelf here. To do this, I first drew out this bookshelf and I then measured how big my book covers had to be to fit on this shelf. I then searched up each book on Google Images, dragged the photo of the front cover to a Word document, sized that photo to the correct dimensions to fit on my shelf, And once I had all the books sized correctly on my Word document, I just printed them out onto sticker paper and I was ready to stick in all of my books. So without further ado, here are my favorite books of 2021, so far at least since there's technically one more month left in the year. We got 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne, I Am Legend by Richard Matheson, Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough, The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang, The Dark Tower series, starting with The Gunslinger by Stephen King, It, also by Stephen King, The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerman, Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn, Bird Box, as well as the sequel Mallory by Josh Mallerman, and finally Inspection, also by Josh Mallerman. I could seriously talk for hours about these books. I love them so much, but I'm not going to get into it here. Otherwise, this video would end up being way too long. So I'll just say that the start of my reading journey has been so incredible. I'm clearly a sucker for horror, thriller, and post-apocalyptic novels. And I'm so excited to see what books next year has in store for me. On this next spread, I'm going to be setting up two separate pages. On the right, I'm gonna be using this calendar printable from my $1 Patreon tier to create my live stream schedule for December. So that way I can keep track of the seven live streams that I'll be doing over on my Patreon throughout this month. I'm also gonna use two more of the RIP scrapbook paper corners to frame this entire spread and bring these two pages together in a fun, cohesive way. 
So I just stuck those in on the top left and bottom right. And I really love the layered look it creates on top of the calendar. Also, all of the scrapbook paper I'm using unfortunately will not be linked in the description because it all actually just came from Goodwill. Earlier this year, my husband Jake found a huge box of scrapbook paper at Goodwill for just a few dollars. So he bought it for me thinking I would probably find a way to use it eventually. And it turns out he was right. I really love using it in my journal. So big thank you to Jake for the sweet thrift store find. And if you ever want to search for some fun, new, cheap journaling supplies, maybe check out your local Goodwill. Now on the left page, I'm gonna create my December playlist, which for me is a spot to primarily keep track of the books and movies that I consume throughout the month, as well as any other media like shows, music, and podcasts that I enjoy. So this month, I'm gonna create three sections for my playlist. Each box is 10 spaces tall, and I'm sticking in one of these small open journal stickers in each section for my header just using my brush pen again to letter in books, movies, and other right over top of those. With this spread all done, I'm then going to flip back to my daily review real quick because I randomly decided I wanted to put in some of the green carpet at the bottom of this spread. And with that, it's time to move on to the final spread in this monthly plan with me video, which is gonna be my first weekly dashboard spread for the first week of December. All right, so for this weekly spread here, I'm gonna start off with some daily sections on the right. Each day is gonna get a row that is five spaces tall, and I'm splitting each day into three sections, one for tasks and events that day, one for any bills that are due that day, and finally, a section for any live streams that I have scheduled. I'm labeling my days of the week with these adorable little coffee mug headers from the monthly kit and then just using the same two brown Crayola markers and the brush pen from before to write in my dates next to those. And this is gonna be for November 29th through December 5th. It's a furthest sun, a gun done for love. It's a sharpest cry, the head goes bit wide, where the desperate lie. Far from ever feeling lost with me, I'll push you back towards the land and sea. To finish up this weekly spread on the left, I'm going to include a weekly task list for any to-do list items that aren't day specific but still need to be completed that week, along with a weekly habit tracker below that. I haven't really been doing any monthly habit tracking for the last few months, not really for any particular reason, but just because I do like to take breaks from monthly habit tracking every so often. So I thought it'd be useful to include a weekly habit tracker on this dashboard here to see how it works for me and also as a way to ease back into more regular habit tracking in January. So this habit tracker is just going to include five core habits with a box for each day to check off whether that habit was completed. The habits I decided to go for this week were taking my vitamins, checking off whether I felt like I had a productive day or not, hydrating because I always forget to drink water, a spot to check off what days were work days for me, and finally a self-care habit to check off if I did something that day that I consider to be self-care. And with that habit tracker done, that is it for this weekly spread and the end of this setup today. I absolutely love how these spreads turned out and I loved using this Luna's Library sticker collection to set all of this up. Definitely one of my favorite themes I've done. I said in the beginning that I really wanted to finish this year off strong with this setup, especially considering it's the last month in this journal. And I'm happy to say that I think I achieved that goal. Getting ready for a new month in my journal never fails to get me hyped up for that month, 
which for me is really good because I definitely find myself getting stressed out by the passing of time. It makes me nervous knowing that 2021 is almost done, but having these spreads ready to go for December relieves a lot of those nerves for me, and it makes me really excited to get December going so that I can jump into using all of these new spreads. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching me set up all of these spreads today. If you did, hit that like button down below to let me know and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Don't forget about my 50% off Black Friday sticker sale happening today through Sunday. This is my biggest sale of the year and there are a ton of new releases available, so you definitely don't want to miss out. All of the links to my shop, the supplies I used, and everything else I mentioned will be in the description below. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, have a lovely end to November and start of December, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What if I told you you took my breath away?